going on guys, Johnny GB here, bringing you guys week number 5 team building for the Colorado Rapidash. This is uh, a tough matchup uh, in some aspects, there's some Pokemon I'm threatened by, uh, but we're taking on Osseal V, coach of the Colorado Rapidash, and before we get into the actual team, I want to shout out Don Milano for helping me build this team this week, was just swamped with work this last couple weeks and he managed to come through build me a team so shout outs to him he gets no blame if he loses and he'll get that credit when he wins uh, because if I if I lose it's on me for not building the team and for not playing well so can't blame any team builders for that so first Pokemon that Dom decided would do very well against the Rapidash's team is Dredagon. So Dredagon gets Stealth Rocks onto his side of the field now. What are Stealth Rocks good for? Well, his removal isn't great. Uh, he has Zapdos Hitmontop as his removal, and he has Espeon as kind of a Magic Bounce user. Uh, but still, Dredagon hits them fairly well. Sheer Force Rock Slide does a good amount to Zapdos. Um, and then pretty much any type of physical hit does over half to an Espeon. So I'm not too worried about uh, his removal. I really don't think Hitmontop shows up. And with him having three fighting types, uh, I should have had a Psychic type or even possibly Fairy type. I know he does have that um, Zapdos and uh, Diggersby to kind of check my Rabombi. But... Ravombi with Psychium Z or just Quiver Dance Moonblast kind of would have worked out very well, but alas, it just didn't fit on the team this week. So, Dredagon with Sheer Force, Stealth Rock, uh, Ability Sheer Force, Stealth Rock, Glare, Rock Slide, Earthquake. Um, no rough skin this week because we want to maximize damage output. It's not really a Mimikyu switch in, it is more of a bulky attacker to get rocks up. With enough speed there to outspeed a creeping Electros. Moving into the next Pokemon, pretty much the win condition of this week, he has nothing for it, is Aerodactyl. So if I can break Mimikyu's Disguise, I can take a plus two Shadow Sneak. It does about 60-ish eh, percent. And we can run Adamant this week because his fastest Pokemon is, in fact, Terrakion. So I'm not too worried about Terrakion because... I have a lot of bulky options for Terrakion. But then we look at stuff like Zapdos. We have enough speed to outspeed a max speed timid Zapdos. So we can run Adamant. And with Unnerve, uh, uh, the Charty Berry that I'm assuming comes with his Zapdos to check my Aerodactyl or potentially Revenge Kill. My Aerodactyl is useless. So we have Stone Edge, Earthquake, Crunch, and Aqua Tail. Aqua Tail there for that Diggersby. Then we have Heliolisk. Heliolisk. Holding the Chillin' Berry, so the Chillin' Berry is a last resort, Diggersby quick attack, check. We have Volt Switch, Surf, Thunderbolt, and Hyper Voice. We have enough speed to outspeed a max speed Jolly Diggersby. So that way, if he does bring quick attack over band, we, or not over band, if he brings quick attack over potential choice scarf set, then we can take a quick attack, hit it with the Surf, and then it dies. And we have Celesteela. So Celesteela is a max defensive set. This is to take on his Mega Pinsir. When you look at Celesteela, Leech Seed, Protect, Heavy Slam, Earthquake. So we brought a couple variants of Leech Seed, Protect so far this season from especially offensive set to now more of a physically offensive set uh, with a Heavy Slam and Earthquake. Earthquake can hit Arcanine. So I'm not too worried about Arcanine switching into my Celesteela. We can Leech Seed it, Protect. If I'm up to plus one or two defense, Arcanine does nothing to me. So if we can get Celesteela up defensive-wise, uh, it's going to be pretty much good game there because he doesn't have anything to reliably break the Celesteela. Then we have Mamoswine. So Mamoswine's holding the Assault Vest with Thick Fat. So this is pretty much a Zapdo switch in to where I can pretty much click a free move and damage something. I'm not too worried about it. With Ice Shard, Icicle Crash, Earthquake, and Knock Off, so stuff like his Espeon do not switch into anything. 
Uh, Reg Ice takes about 50% from Earthquake. And he just doesn't have a good switch into this thing. And with me, Assault Vest and Thick Fat, Zapdos can't do much to it, but hard switch. And from then, Zapdos pretty much clicks a free move and gets heavy damage off onto anything. And the final Pokemon is my Lodic. So my Lodic has the Flame Orb, so we're the Vax Physically Defensive set. And again, this is a last ditch uh, fighting switch in for stuff like Terrakion. <coughs> Terrakion, Toxicroak, Hitmontop, any of his fighting types, I can switch into it. It also switches into Arcanine. I know it can get Wild Charge, uh, but with the Flame Orb, I become nice and bulky. Psych, uh, Scald, Toxic, hit, uh, Scald, Toxic, Recover, and Hidden Power Psychic. So Hidden Power Psychic is here for Toxicroak, because Toxicroak switches into my Lodic, and with Dry Skin, absorbs any type of Scald, so Hidden Power Psychic can actually do some damage and not force me out giving him a free setup so that is the team this week for the colorado rapidash again shout outs to dom for the team if you guys enjoyed the team builder go ahead like the video comment your guys support subscribe to the channel for more pokemon wi-fi draft league content but with all that being said guys i am johnny gb and i'm out